Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover and thank you for joining me here. So today we're going to continue playing as the Enclave Reconstruction Authority, but I need to apologize first for not getting a video out, I guess technically earlier today for you guys, it might be earlier yesterday, but that was because I actually had to leave a little bit early, I was not going to be home, but more importantly, the save that we have that I use to play this game, like it would continue to just keep on crashing and crashing and crashing every time like... Right now it's August 1st, 2028, so it's so relatively close to where we left off last time. But, uh, yeah, like, I would hit, like, August 7th, and at the 24th hour, when I was trying to go to the next day, it would just crash. Like, hard crash, you can't do anything, I had to completely restart my computer every time, which was fine. I have this saved on an SSD, or at least a lot of my things on an SSD, so loading it wasn't bad, but it just kept crashing. I mean, it wouldn't be just August, it would be, like, November, December, and it was getting frustrating. So, basically... I didn't upload yesterday, I apologize for that, but because of that, I spent time on my laptop and I played this game basically again. It's it's definitely a little different, but uh, basically I got it all back, or came to August 1st, in which we can start playing once again. <clears throat> so, a couple things to note. Right now, Kaisar's Legion is at war with Peko's Colony. They have not yet had their civil war. Last In the last two episodes, and the, other, and the others say... Uh, Kaisar's Legion had a civil war very early on, and they basically, I made sure that Kaisar's Legion actually won, because it kept crashing. But, as you can tell right now, <clears throat> the Enclave has almost all, almost has all of the NCR. So, um, yeah, this war against me and the NCR was actually very interesting, because it was the Scorpions and Rapids. The Scorpions were just beating the crap out of the NCR until I got involved, and then... Eventually, <clears throat> when we got cl when I got close to capitulating the NCR, the NCR actually capitulated both the Scorpions and the Rapids. Well, really just the Scorpions because they were the most important ones. But uh, yeah, so that actually took me quite a while. And then the Brotherhood eventually declared war, and that's how they got the center part of this part of California. So that's how it ended up. I'm actually right now at war with the Yakuza territory. So it's actually been very, very interesting. Klamath is so pretty small. The Western Brotherhood is losing their war against Arroyo, even though Arroyo is out of manpower already. Um, like I said, Kaiser's Legion is at war with the Capecos Colony. Something different from the last time is that the Federation of New York lost. The Enclave won in New York. The Federation came over here, they allied with the... I think the Enclave, actually. But then they were defeated, so this is all a little bit different. The Minutemen have actually expanded quite a bit as well. The USSR are still here. Buffalo Raiders, so... I hope to God this game doesn't crash again, but this is, but talking about this right now, I'm also uh, mobilizing more soldiers because I really need more soldiers, but I want to let you know that I'm probably going to start recording a lot of this series ahead of time, just to, so that when, so I could just get the gameplay without it recording, without it crashing as much, because I'm kind of tired of it crashing on me constantly, so... I'd love to take your comments, and every video I have, I will take your comments and stuff, and I will think about them and consider them, but I won't always be able to do that. So, I just want to let you know that, so I do apologize for not having a video up yesterday, so there's only so much I can do. So, anyways, enough about explanations for me. We have an opening day for Nuka Land. After a year of construction, Nuka Land has opened to rave reviews and would be crushing competition if there was any other theme park in the wastes. Casualties from the Death Claw Petting Zoo are within acceptable parameters, and the Haunted House's Feral Ghouls provide excellent paramilitary training, and the Rocket Roller Coaster is fun. Wow, the Rocket Roller Coaster is actually fun, who knew? For one brief day, America's citizens get a taste of what our nation will be like when we finish rebuilding. Just obey park security. Cutting in line has unpleasant consequences. More legitimacy, which we don't really care about. We get more stability, which is good. And we remove building Nuka World, which means we get more construction speed in general, as well as infrastructure construction speed, too. Which is very, very good. <clears throat> so, where were the Yakuza? Uh, casualties, we've taken quite a few, because I'm only using infantry right now, which is a mistake. But, whatever. I wanted to save my pure, pure power armor for now. So, yeah. Uh, go ahead and stop attacking. That's kind of a waste of time. Go ahead and do this. We need to split these guys off as best we can. Nice. That's actually very good. So go ahead and do this. Just go ahead and just take all this territory. Encircle, destroy, and have a good time. And you move up. You... Uh, these guys are all moving around now. That's probably not in our best interests. That's alright. Hearts and minds. So we got a little more stability, a little more political power. So 
I guess I didn't talk about the focus tree, so... Um, what do I need to talk about? Dude, the ranger question. Huh. So, I've done most of the segregation stuff again. Actually, I even have F-85 fighters now. <clears throat> and I did the new Spartans. We have Spartans. We need to sub subsidize servants and promote healthy families. But I need to prepare expansion. Oh, I need to talk about the factions as well. So, I did mostly the same things. Yesterday's enemies, NCR leadership, incorporate the NCR army. I haven't done business with California. I haven't done suspend elections or last arguments of a president, enclave or born. I haven't done vaccinations or any of this stuff yet. I already did the new order, indefinite martial law, revive the Federal Reserve, Chamber of Commerce. So I've done a lot of things already, so I've pretty much played up until the point where we can just go back almost to where we were at at one point. So right now, I think for best, it might be best to do monthly population because I could release a lot of population. We don't have a lot of cores. Uh, territory, so that'll be for the best to do. Also, we have a crap ton of political power. <clears throat> and my voice is still, I guess, a little bit off, but whatever. We could really... Yeah, we got a lot of war support. I just need more manpower. I think that's something I'm going to say a lot in this series. Just need a lot more manpower. But let's go ahead. I really need more manpower. 4.3% out of 15%. We got a lot of time for that. Can't go with the war economy yet. Let's go ahead and get some more attack. I think that'd be probably for the best. Because we are currently attacking. Nice. You guys are doing a great job. Great job. Oh, they're attacking us. Let them starve. Let them die. I don't want to take any more, too many more casualties because it actually, I took a lot of casualties getting to this point already. So, uncircle, destroy. Uh, give me that power armor. We'll take Carson City like this. Also, uh, in the other save, my auxiliaries had a lot more support equipment. They obviously don't hear. And, but now I've made sure that, ooh, you're only 14, uh, 14 combat width? Really, man? Yeah, I definitely need at least 20 combat width for power armor. Cool. So these guys are going to, they will get defeated fairly easily. Vaccinations, we bankrupted the merchant houses. We have the Chamber of Commerce. We have the Presidential Dictatorship. We have Martial Law. I love it. Brahmin Barons are still here for a little bit. Gearing up for war. New Sparta. Love it. Awesome. Oh, radar. I love radar. Let's get some encryption next. Oh, I need to do some support, some some more support companies, so that uh, I can get like, what was it? Better field hospitals, which I kept, technically already have, but like machine gun support, recon, because all that stuff is very, 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 very important. Let's go ahead and attack these guys. Put them out of the misery. Finish those guys off. Gotta love it. Cool. Uh, and you guys are still... Oh, oh you're still in ready. Alright, that's fine. Whatever. Cool. Well, regardless, I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope your your Hoi Force saves are actually doing well, unlike mine. So, And we finished those guys off. Now I don't feel bad about my casualties since they've suffered almost 5,000. Just... Oh, and they don't like... They didn't like that I killed a lot of their guys off. Well, I wouldn't like it either, so... Are you guys... Oh, the, the supply is so bad. They're not even going to move. Which sucks. But oh well. Um, for you guys, I, I don't want to advise you to just go ham, because we already have a lot of casualties, but I guess go ham, if you can. If you can. Yeah, take Fallon. Fallon would be actually be a good place to take for supplies base. Vault 98 joined the common turn. Wait, whoa. Oh, I should probably show you the faction. So, I'm independent. The Brotherhood of Steel is fighting the NCR faction with Arroyo and Vault City. Actually, Vault City is in the Brotherhood of Steel, but they were actually taken out early on by Pale Folks, which is really, really cool. So actually, that would be a really good place to attack next. Khazar's Legion is very big. Very, very big. Very scary. Um, Northern League with the Washington Brotherhood, which we'll, we will have to fight. And the comet turns over here. So, Oh, wait. What happened to the Mormons? Wait. Oh, yeah. The Mormons are still here. They're just a little hard to see because of the color palette. So not bad. Not bad. Uh, going to war with Arroyo actually wouldn't be a bad idea because they're allied with the foragers. NCR, NCR. <clears throat> um. Um. Actually, I think the foragers have already capitulated to Kaisar's Legion. Did they? Yeah, they're fighting Khazar's Legion, so the Forges have already been taken out. In this war between the Brotherhood of Steel and technically the NCR, 
Um, where are the Arroyo Foragers is gone. Pecos Colony. If I could help the Brotherhood of Steel take out Arroyo, I'm probably saying that wrong. Arroyo, Arroyo. This is actually probably be a good thing to do. Let's get our power armor up there too. This could help them out, and I could take a little bit of their territory. The Brotherhood could take a little bit of their territory. Uh, I would have to go to war with the Pale Folks, maybe. Yes, I will. So we really need to wrap up this war quickly. Yeah, hold on to that spot, guys. Um, yeah, take take Carson City. And there we go. Whew. Thank you very much, you the Yakuza guys. Awesome. Get ready to go to war with... Oh yeah, we don't also have Modok or the Antelope tribes, which is fine. Totally fine with me. So, let's go ahead and recover some of this manpower. <clears throat> that we used. So, in the war against NCR, I actually spawned 22 militia divisions, so I took a total of 11 provinces, which was really nice compared to the last time, because I only took 10. But this time, I got 11, so... I'm learning here, guys. I'm definitely learning how to play the Enclave very, very well at this point. Well, somewhat well. I know how to play them well, but it doesn't mean I actually play them well. I know how to. It doesn't mean I actually play them well, though. Um, actually, you know what? Actually, on the other side of things, how about you guys come over here just because there's more divisions and power armor should be able to stand up to these guys. Maybe. Cool. And we got some vaccinations. Very nice. I could really use that extra 10% monthly population. Lose division attrition and a double bonus for field hospitals. Awesome. Uh, next time, I w when we do Department of Education, I will teach them about the Enclave. Because legitimacy doesn't really matter as much anymore like we've already gone over. We could probably suspend elections. Yeah, that actually would be good. Because that Iron President event, that it says, is not bad for us. Also, we do have Sergeant Dorn as our Vice President again, so. And there's Communism Paranoia, apparently, as well, that I have, so. The Communist Uprising, again, didn't take place, which was fine. We have more than two years until Kaiser goes to war with us, so we got to definitely be ready. Let's see, any sh planes? I almost said ships. We have some three light cruisers over here. West Nevada. There's no airbase over here, so over here's fine. Transports, I'm making a few transports because it was an event, and I need more manpower. Cool, precise targeting, awesome. For even more soft attack, let's get some mortars next. Can I throw anything else on here? No, I don't have these things unlocked, which, which really does suck, but whatever. Ooh, actually, rebel militia. Take that off, and I'm gonna need some coastal provinces to that need to be guarded. Go ahead and spawn up there. <clears throat> Suspended the elections, which is fine, fine, fine. Oh, there's definitely some attrition, so let's go ahead and build some things up here. Ooh. There you go. Two should be good. We have plenty enough factories, I think, for now. We're just going to try to build as many as possible, so. No biggie, no problem. Alright, what's this one? Uh, you get more research speed with that, so I'll do that. Warrior code, we get a little bit more recruitable population, but we get more soft attack and heart attack. And now we're going to lose more recruitable population as well. You give some, you take some. You know, it's always like life. And now we're going to go to war with Arroyo and help finish these guys off. Because they're out of manpower, which will probably make it easy for us. These guys have a little bit of manpower. We have no manpower, but they're already on all adult serve. And I have some coffee that I need to take a sip of. And actually, before we go to war, let's double check. You guys. Because I need to go to war with Vault City eventually. But taking out a royal will give us more factories and maybe some more resources. <clears throat> they have 10 divisions. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. 52. Candlelight Vigil in Stockton. I broke up the protests, the peaceful protests in Stockton. People have gathered in Stockton. Remember one year since the Stockton Massacre. Break it up. Lose stability legitimacy. But this won't happen next year where I will end up losing... More stats, you might as well lose some stats now instead of later. Let's see, December is when we go to war. Oh, suspend elections. Douglas did his best, but this wasn't the fat and happy world of pre-war America. He had to guide his nation through a nuclear wasteland. He had no time to, listening to listen to whining barons from California, counselors from Vault City, or the ministers from New Canaan. Only blood and iron would save America, but without liberty, Douglas was sifting through the shell of dead America, one more victim of the old rule blues. Which we lose a little bit of political power, which is fine. But we do get minus 10% consumer goods factories, more stability, 
plus 10% uh, production efficiency growth, more division attack, and factory output. God bless the Enclave. Ah, oh, I love it. The business of California, the gun runners. This would help us produce more things. Mm, encryption goes down, more daily political power is okay. Department of Energy. I could really use those advanced technology, but civilian construction speed. I'm building things now, so we might as well do that. Got a little bit of political power. Hmm. If we go to war, war economy, we might... Yeah, let's go ahead and just go to war with these guys. We got three manpower. That's good enough, right? And just to be sure, the NCR... Yeah, that's good. That's good. The common turns alive and well... Well, actually, let's take a quick look. The USSR, led by Mikhail Alexandrovich. Allied with Vault 98. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, cool. Vault 98. Where is... Oh, they're... Oh. Wait, are they... Oh, they're occupied currently. Okay, the Casey family took them out. Alright, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and go to war. And I have no allies because the Enclave can't join a faction. Cool. Um, is there... There's really nowhere for me to take. Maybe I could go to the Temple of Trials. Yeah. You guys come up here. Uh, because of attrition, I should have maybe just set, set one army this way. Oh, Pecos Colony's at war with us. All right, then. Whatever. Hey, all folks, there we go. Um, I guess for now, you guys can just kind of walk in if you need to. I guess for these guys, if you can win, I mean, go right ahead. I mean, take a royal, just, you know, go right ahead. Do that. Oh, more factories, I guess. I don't really want to make more power armor right now, just because we're out of... Advanced technology and electronics, which I also need for my plasma energy, but we have a lot of dynamite. I made sure I made a lot of dynamite. And eh, we need more gunships, too. Really? We're doing okay on a lot of stuff. It's just... I just need, need more resources. That's really it. So take... Is that it? Is the war over yet? Arroyo is close to capitulating, which is great. Really great. Um, go ahead and do this. I want you to only border this group, this country. Just go right ahead. Uh, for these guys, I mean, they're, they are who they are, so. Can't really complain about these guys too much. Boost civilian economy. That'd be nice and all, but don't really need that. Can't go with war economy, which kind of sucks. Anything else here? I could use more army XP gain, though. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me in my uh, sneezes. Ah, oh, very nice. Oh, my goodness. The Chosen One's trial was never in doubt. Even if Granite had suspicions about the Enclave's experience on the oil rigging at Navarro, too many members of the Enclave blamed the Chosen One for deaths of friends and family, and the propaganda blamed the Chosen One for stopping the Enclave's medical assistance to Arroyo's tribals. And so the Chosen One was found guilty of supporting slavers in the den, of killing miners in Broken Hills, of smuggling liquor into Vault City, and of aiding cultists in San Francisco, and, of course, of treason against the United States government. The only question, only, the only question was their fate. Firing Squad... And show up compassion, life, and solidarity confinement. Well, um, he's going to have to die. So, the sooner it is, the better. And we got encircled. God dang it. Uh, where's our, all the capitals all the way over here? Uh, with this, just go come up north. Take these guys out. I definitely don't have enough divisions over here, which really sucks. But, whatever. I need you to actually crank it up a little bit more. Nice, those guys are done with that. If we can, I'm going to try to encircle all of this area first. Uh, do that, do that, do that. Make sure these guys do not move very much. Take the city. Take take the resources. Take the uh, supply bases, supply areas. Make a lot of gunships, if at all possible, in the future. Yeah, th th you just can't beat the power armor, man. Power armor is just too good. Nice. These guys will perish, which will be great. Happy times for all of us. Not them, but us. Cool. And these guys will capitulate as well. And we got more factories to use. And they took back Arroyo. Oh, of course. Seriously, don't don't even bother with the uh, Brotherhood. You don't really need to attack. Just kind of get to your places. 
Um, do that. Oh, we actually have a okay balance of technology here. Come on. Oh, there's three divisions. Oh, that makes sense. Why well, second forever? Come on up, oh, and we took them out. Nice. So for you guys, take out the pale folks. That'll be good. Just defend against a royal because the Brotherhood will do whatever they need to do. We actually got a division encircled, which was stupid by me. Uh, we're gonna have to rescue that division. Oh, the Department of Manufacturing, very nice. So, every man a car. I need more advanced technology. We don't have enough other stuff yet. Um, Teach for America. Let's go ahead and do the Enclave of Ooh, Uniting the States of America. Mm, actually, let's do this because we might be getting ready to go invade other places. So, let's do Uniting the States of America. Oh, and it's paused. No wonder things aren't going on. Good, we're still defending. Don't ever, don't want to lose that one division. Awesome. And you don't want to do that either. Tell them to not move. Alright, for you guys, if you can move, just go ahead. Just be careful. We don't have any man... We have very, very little manpower, I should say. We got mortars, though. Hope you like mortars, guys, because it's going about going to be raining shells very soon. I mean, supply-wise, we just need more power armor. I mean, that's just the biggest thing in pretty much every game. Always need more power armor. Always need more manpower. No, I no longer get no longer get the effects of Brahmin barons. Also, I believe that this is quite a bit fewer factories than we had when I started, or the other save I should compare it to really. Mm, if I need more resources, I'm going to build them up here too. I'm going to save some of this infrastructure to build up for more legitimacy closer to the end game, I'll say. So there's definitely that. Uh, if we have time, I'm going to build this up. Borders against the Brotherhood, Western Brotherhood of Steel. Just so that when we go to war with them, it won't be a massive mess. It will be a huge mess, and I actually need to get more piercing for my divisions before we go to war with them. Or even the brother the Washington Brotherhood, so that'll be very important to do as well. Alright, so I think this, these wars are pretty much over now. The Ooh, I was going to say, the Western Brotherhood was looking okay, but they really can't do anything against Arroyo. Oh, and we capitulated the Pale Folk. Nice. Good job, guys. Go ahead and do something like that, just so we can do... Actually, don't do that. Do resistance stuff. Good enough for now. <clears throat> cool, how many men have we lost? We've lost 182, not bad. Compared to 10,000, where we've done 775 casualties. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good. But Arroyo's definitely tried to play their hand too much. Ah, uh, yes. Mass casualties. Very nice. It took the Enclave to help the brother Western Brotherhood out. To help them out and destroy Arroyo. Come on, guys. Uh, yeah, definitely get that. I'm, I'm seriously starting to get inclined to maybe get more manpower. It just takes so long to get, you know, mobilize your men. Um, yeah, just go on, move up that direction. That'd be fine. Oh, the menace from Washington. The Washington Brotherhood, fresh from its conquest of the Troll Warren and others, lust for more. More resources, resources, slaves, and technology, and with an NCR still bitterly divided or destroyed, it's extending its claws towards the reunited states. Oh my goodness. And let's go ahead and do... Enclave Reconstruction Authority will be known as the New American State. Well, I really need to probably prepare for expansion so I can get some more cores. Let's do that. So now we will actually have a border with the Washington Brotherhood. How are they doing? Because this is basically the same Brotherhood, except they don't have Bellingham. They don't have Bellingham in this save. Manpower for them isn't as good as I expected it to be. They have less divisions. Um, how? 194 days. All right. Well, we're probably gonna have to end up going to war with them next. So we should really save our time, our resources, to go into war with them. Because they're currently at war with Kimmelt Station. Taking what we need. They have no manpower, though, which really sucks for those guys. And they're about to lose all those divisions. We drive, drove out the Yakuza. Prepare for expansion. Let's go ahead and enforce American culture, because I need some more manpower. And yes, it's not a lot of manpower. Uh, where'd you come from? Oh, you're my defensive coast guy. Yeah, there you go, boy. There you go. 
awesome. Do that just in case. You never know when I might build a port here or there. Um, do that. All the way down in Baja, California. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, we took. I took a lot of territory from the NCR just because there was no one else left to be alive once I took all the territory. So, oh well. And go ahead and do that. Nice. Very good. I think we're doing all right here. Get you guys on the line. Nah, you, there's enough divisions on the line. Canadian pirates join the Brotherhood to the north of the Washington lies a broken coast where pirates bludgeon their prey to death with Canada's sacred clubs or fearsome hockey sticks. We'd hoped they served as a nuisance to the Brotherhood and tied down their flanks, but now they formed a blood pack with the Brotherhood to seize California, which can offer far more loot and slaves in the Northwest. Should war with the Washington Brotherhood break out, they might try to harass our coasts and supply lines. Of course, the U.S. Navy wet its teeth fighting pirates 500 years ago. Perhaps it's time to pick up old habits. All right, so they joined the faction, huh? That's going to be one hell of a enemy to fight, actually. Just hang on, Kamal Station. White Legs joined Kaiser's Legion, who declared war on Sky Reavers, who I don't have under me in this playthrough. That's kind of scary. Not going to lie. I'm going to need more divisions. I'm going to need more manpower. But the war is over, so let's go ahead and divvy up what we deserve. So. A royal? Huh. I'll come to a royal next, actually. Where is it? Pecos. You guys will get Pecos Colony because there's no point for me even owning them. And you did all the work for that. Pale folks. Where the hell are the pale folks? Oh, the foragers are over here. Foragers. That'll be good. Vault City. Honestly, I'm going to take both because I deserve both. Because I technically took all the land. And Arroyo. I want to give some to the Washington Brotherhood. I don't think they deserve it, though. So... Actually, I'll give one small piece because I don't have to guard that coast then. And then I'll take the rest. Right, Binky? I'm joined here by my cat named Binky, so. Cool. And he's having a good time taking a nap. All right. A few more factories. About seven, four more. Good God, we need more supplies. <clears throat> need more dynamite. Need a lot more of everything. So, next up is a war with the Dark Brotherhood. So they'll go to war with us within a, few, uh, a year or so. Within about half a year. So, to prepare for that, mm, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to only set one of you guys up here to defend against up here. I'm going to put these guys in the back. Back of the line. And you guys don't need to do that. Well, let's let time go on first. Do that. Uh, maybe not let time go on first. Vault City University. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. I knew this would happen. Oh. Oh, boy. So you're telling me, in the end, we're going to fight the Washington Brotherhood and the Western Brotherhood at the same time. Well, Shisa. Ooh. Oh, man. Is it because I took your territory of Arroyo? I'll probably have to abandon this part of the my uh, country. Oh, boy. That's not good. That's really not good. I'm going to have to... I'm going to need more divisions. I'm just going to need more infantry. I think that's mostly it. I'm just going to need so much infantry that I can use support anti-tank and support machine guns. This is not going to end up very well for us at all. Holy crap. Um. Yeah, this is... Painted men join Kaiser's Legion. This is not good. I mean, we're stuck between the Washington Brotherhood... The Western Brotherhood of Steel and Kaiser's Legion. Can I call in, in any sort of ally? Like, wait, hold on. Kaiser's Legion. They're not at war with the Brotherhood. Yeah, okay. Because in another game I did, they were at war with each other, so. This is so not good. Hmm. Well, then. Hmm. Definitely put on recon companies. Those will be important for all the infantry. Uh, I'm not going to put on the Rebel Militia just because I need more manpower. How many divisions does the Washington or the Western Brotherhood have? Up to 55, which is definitely more than me. 
Oh god, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Alright, so we're going to guard up here. And basically when the Washington Brotherhood goes to war with us, we're going to give up pretty much all of what we took in Arroyo and form a defensive line around here. So that'll be fine. We should be able to hold for the most part. I need at least a few divisions over here. So I really should probably build this area up. Oh, and we definitely want some radar down here as well. Uh, go ahead and rebuild a lot of this stuff. I want some more radar up here. Uh, I was not expecting this so quickly. Yeah, actually, go ahead and build this up some more as well. Because I won't. by the time we go to war with them, I will not be able to pierce these enemy divisions. But we can enforce American culture anyways. So with that in mind... Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I apologize for not uploading the video yesterday, but I have to do what I have to do. So, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Leave a like if you leave, if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow when we're going to end up in war with both brotherhoods. Thanks for watching.